Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this plum purpley gray look. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll show you another lip color choice if you're not into the gray lips. I do have a more of a nude choice and that will be at the end of the video. So if you like this look, then keep watching. Okay, so now we are going to start on our eyes. So I've already primed my lid and I just used the Painterly Paint Bot from MAC. So we're just gonna jump right into the eyeshadow. So as you will probably already know this, I'm going to be using Blong Type by MAC and I'm using a Sigma Large Shader E60 to apply this just all over the lid. Again, base shadows should match your skin tone or at least be pretty close to it. So you could always use just a normal powder, but depending on your skin tone, obviously you would not always use Blong Type. So again, this was a requested gray and purple look. So we're gonna start out with some gray. This is MAC Copper Plate, which is just this kind of pretty neutral, maybe a little more on the cool side gray. And I'm just taking a Sigma A25 to apply this. And we're just gonna kind of blow this out. And you can be pretty generous if you want to keep this a little more tame, just keep it closer to your crease. So now we're taking a little bit of MAC Ho and we're just going to take that on that same brush and we're just going to keep this a little more in the crease. This is just going to add a little bit of kind of like a purple mauve color. And I'm taking Saucebox Berry Pink, which is just kind of this purpley mauve color. It was requested for plums and grays and I was like, I don't really know what color plum would be, so this is... This is my interpretation of plums and grays. So we're just applying this all over the lid. It's a little bit pink, so don't worry. We're going to go over it with sketch. So now you want to take a little bit of MAC sketch, which is just this kind of satin finish, pretty purpley color. And I'm taking on that same brush. And we're going to make basically a gradient over the eye. So I started with the most in that kind of basically this area, the outer corner. And now I'm just basically patting, I'm doing little circle pattings to kind of blend and fade it out. We want to bring it pretty far, like I'm bringing it into here, like on the outer part of my iris, just because I find the berry pink by sauce box to be a little more in the pink color than I want. So this is going to kind of tone it down, but still add some definition to the eye area. So just adding a little more in the corner. And now we're gonna blend that out. Mostly just the edges. We This is already like a nice gradient on the lid, so you don't really need to touch that. It's mostly just the edges you wanna be mindful of. So I'm gonna take a little bit more on this brush, just so I can pop a little more into this kind of outer V area. All right, now I'm just gonna quickly conceal my eyes. All right, so now that we're all ready on the under eye, we're gonna start adding some color there. So as before, we're gonna use that gray. I'm again using my paintbrush, the gray being concrete, sorry, I did not say that. Um, I'm using that paintbrush, so you can use a pencil brush or whatever you want, whatever's the easiest to run underneath. I like to blend that pretty far down just to open up the eye area a little bit more. We're gonna do that same. We're basically copying, like now I'm using my mauve purple color. Um, we're basically copying what we did on the upper lid, on the lower lid. We're gonna take just a tad bit of sketch, just on the very, like, maybe not even the whole quarter, outer corner of my eye. Just really, really little bit right there. And now we're gonna take a blending brush and blend all that together. Make sure you're blending it up to meet this part of your eye. And then all I'm gonna do is take a little more of the concrete color and just kind of go over this part of my eye just because it's a little too purple. I'm just gonna use the gray to kind of mute it out and make sure that you're blending real well. All right, and then we're just gonna quickly pop on a highlight. I like using a MAC. 239 to highlight and then so I'm gonna start with MAC Mylar which is just this off-white satin color run that under my brow bone again you can opt for something more shimmery because my eyes are hooded I don't like to add extra like weight to my top lid 
and I'm going to use MAC Shroom to highlight my inner corner. And I'm just going to blend that kind of upwards and just under the tear duct. So we got a lot of light going on in there. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add just a little bit of liner, as you can see, and some mascara and some lashes, and then I'll show you how to finish the face. Okay, so now I've just added some mascara. I'm wearing Maybelline Full and Soft with the MAC Extended Display Gay Black Lash um, on my bottom lashes. And then these lashes are the Carousel Cosmetics Regina Style Lashes, and so that's all I did. And I also gelled my brows. So now we'll go on and finish the face. I did already add some contour and I went with a gray mostly because I just got in this new an East Wind is coming from Shiro Cosmetics. So I want to try that out. Um, I would definitely not go for that if you are not on kind of the cool or fair side because it probably will look ashy. But yeah, that's what, basically what I did off camera. Um, since we have a cooler eye and I'm going to go for a cooler lip too, I like to complement it with a blush that's a little on the warmer side. And Rapporteur is nice because it's kind of that rose gold so it's not like overly warm either. And I'm just going to start like right here on my cheeks and then blend towards my temples. But I definitely like to... I don't know. I'm not very into having cool colors all over my face, so I like the little bit of warmer colors mixed in. Oh, and the bl brush I'm using is the blusher brush, and it is by Hair and Makeup Addiction. So now that you got your blush done, um, you can highlight. I just use a little bit of MAC Emphasize because I don't really want a strong highlight for this. And then for lips, I'm going to show you two different options. I really want to wear this with gray lips, but I'm going to first just show you it with nudes. Alright, so here's a very wearable lip color. This is the YSL number 10 beige tribute and the lip plump glam. Derma MD. I don't know what color this is. Lip plump. It's like a rose gold color, which is why I used it because it's gonna go with my blush. Um, and this is just a really easy way to wear this look if you want just like a little bit of color in your eyes and then some nude lips. But I'm gonna show you with the color that I'm gonna wear it with. All right, and this is how I would wear it. This is just the Mac Stone lip pencil mixed with. OCC Sebastian over the top. I really like gray lips with purple eyes, so that's why I chose this. Um, you can definitely go with whatever lip color you want. It would also look great with like a purple lip too, or even orange. That would look great too, like a coral color. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this look. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will post all my social media in the down box below as well as at the end of the video, and I hope to see you again soon.